Ah, yes, the traditional way to start a Dead Cells stream. With the controller disconnected. Really, it's the only way I can start Dead Cells at this point. By disconnecting my controller in however way that works. Anyway, hey, it's an EU-friendly stream, finally. And I'm doing all of the weapons from the most recent update. It's gonna be 5 cell. I only have the new stuff turned on, so... Ain't nothing old showing up here. And that does include the pan, so... Hey, that's great, too. And everybody get out of here. Yes, off camera, I have now ground up the rest of the items as well as the cells needed to unlock it. So we got them all here. Every single weapon you love, like the pan. And that's about it. Okay, I'm sure there are prob probably some people that love the tentacle, too. But the other ones, I think, are great weapons. But come on, you got the pan and you got the tentacle. Like, what else? Yes, I have unlocked all of the weapons. I uh, Off screen, I went to get the the whistle from the... Yeah, I streaming early for once for me. I mean, technically, this is pretty early for me. It's before noon, but... Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's check this out. I never actually looked at Flint before. So, just a regular hammer. I guess it's the, um, I don't know, incomplete ones. Concierge's hand on a stick, which, you know, cool. We can also charge it up like this. Does critical hits, does that big shockwave, which is pretty great. Going to probably get some good usage out of that, although shield bearers are not really going to take too kindly to it. Ah, come on. At least it does go through the shield, I suppose. Oh, will you just go down already? Good lord. Guys are not, uh, not too easy. But then also everything else, tentacles. Most everything else is powers. And there's some interesting powers. I think Telluric Slam is probably my favorite of them. The one you get from the Hand of the King. Just because it is quite good. As far as I can tell. Let's actually try to get some use out of this here. Because I, I want to see how exactly it works when you're doing the... Okay, yeah. you Just, like, go through them. When it says you need to bump the enemy... <laughs> when it says you need to bump the enemy, it just means hit them and then hit them again. Literally on McDonald's hand. I said, uh, I said cost parasite last time. It is, I, I, I think that's so much more similar to that because that is the tentacle weapon. That is a tentacle weapon from that game. One that I never actually got because it was, you know, uh, one that I never actually got because I was part of the DLC and I don't have the DLC for, yeah, there we go. Then I don't have the DLC for Bloodborne, but hey, okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I was saying now. I was getting distracted by things occurring. There we go. Ah, of course. Well, okay, invisible enemies are going to be kind of frustrating to deal with, but that's fine. I have no idea what, like, an actual run would go with this, but right now it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, no, not you. Attacks the enemy that is most dangerous. That guy, I guess. <laughs> you get that one from the giant. Which is, uh... Which is interesting. I don't know how useful that's going to be for, uh... For a normal run, but... That's what the giant's weapon does. Don't they mean Homestead of the boss? Yes, I know. I, I, I have already put in a complaint. <laughs> uh... God, I don't know. It seems like most everything's going to be survival or tactics. So let's just go with survival for the most part for right now and kind of see how that takes me. Tentacle looks dope. I like its look, but it is also one of those, I don't know how useful it's going to be in in a, a usual, in, you know, normal play style. What's the weapon in the, in the right hand? That's flint. It is a hammer. It's literally just the hand of the concierge on a stick. And you can hold it down to get a critical and to do his big uh, shockwave attack. Pretty good stuff. Is that Madara's Whistle from Bloodborne? Yeah, kind of. Actually, it is. <laughs> a lot of uh, Bloodborne-themed weapons here now, aren't there? <laughs> you missed the challenge drift? Ah, damn it. <laughs> Every time, I tell you. Oh, well, this is going to be more of a kind of screw-around screw type of stream as I'm getting used to some of these new weapons, because I don't know, why not? Please watch Death Cells trailer. Well, we can't do it right now. Around the specialist shop. Ah, damn.
I mean, uh... Ooh, I'm catching the stream. Yeah, I know that this is probably a little bit more EU-friendly than most streams that I tend to do. Alright, what do you consider the most dangerous enemy here? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what I would also consider the most dangerous enemy, but... Yeah. They literally say in the description for that that it's the giant who gets to choose who the most dangerous dude around here is. And it only attacks one enemy. So that is... That's why it kind of has a little bit limited usage, even though it's so... Flashy. Daddy Longlegs is also a pretty good... Sure. It's also a pretty good uh, comparison to be made. Okay. You do also get like a little bit of stun time with this too. It's just you need to make sure that you get that weapon, that the weapon is active before, you know, you get hit, <laughs> I guess. The whistle is from Bone Dad. I mean, it is literally Giant's arm. Yep. <laughs> How long can we stream for? Oh, I'll probably go for like hour and a half, two hours. The usual sort of uh, stream time that I got going on here. Mostly a kind of screw around type of stream. So, <laughs> don't expect a 10 out of 10 play here. There we go. What is that left skill? That's Telluric Slam, the one that you get from the Hand of the King. I really like it. I think this is a good weapon, <laughs> or a uh, good skill. Okay, I don't even know how you guys got hit there, but... Uh... Bunch them. Bunch it. Yeah, this is an interesting combination. Not, not really things that are working too well with each other, but they are... Doing something. Yeah, it seems like uh, Tentacles work better on, like, ranged enemies and stuff like that. Okay. What do we got here? I think I'm gonna keep what I got for right now and just see what else I can do. That is a good weapon. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get connected up to my, uh, IV should be only take 30 minutes, hopefully. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, how are his three boss cell compared to two boss cell? I think that's where the game starts to make a real step up in difficulty, wherein... Sounds good. Uh, wherein you really want to have a lot of upgrades for your forge at that point in time, just because it is... It just gets very rough. It's very rough fighting enemies otherwise. You start to... You need a lot of damage to deal with dudes, and you need a lot of health that you can only really get from having all the stats on top of every piece of equipment you have. Okay, man. Jeez. All right, screw it. Launch him. Is this a mod? Oh, no. This is the newest update. It's only an alpha for right now, though. So, if you want to, if you want to know that you're going to lose all your progress eventually. Oh, actually wanted to go to the side there. You know, you will lose all your progress, but you can get into this alpha right now if you choose to do so. Uh, okay, I'll take that for right now, obviously. Not really part of the run, but why not? Good. And there we go. Get down here, you. There. So that's, I mean, it's interesting. I think this is the first, uh, the first hammer that we actually got in the game now. It's all just been, you know, axes, swords, and everything like that, too. Don't know if you have TPN? TPN. No. I mean, or if I do, I'm not familiar. Uh, but, yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah, the Nutcracker, of course. I forgot. <laughs> well, you blame me. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, okay. So, this is the second hammer in the game. Fine. <laughs> I guess I forgot then. Uh, everyone forgets the nut. Yeah, I always forget to nut. It's a real issue. Okay, you can get some good distance with the Telluric Slam if you're... If you're really trying for it. Two. There we go. Get that stun time, and then... I mean, this is almost more like a hoe with the... 
brass knucks on the end of there. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess it does get a it does get a stun there too. It's just that's not like that's a really the important bit of the whistle. <laughs> oh boy, an EU friendly stream of Frank. I mean, it is Sunday. I got the time. <laughs> Concierge's hand has always been in the game. It was always a second hammer just on the boss. Yeah, well, I wouldn't really count the weapons I can't use as being in the game. I also don't have the giant scythe that the catcher uses, but I don't say that it's like, hey, that's the, the first scythe type thing in the game. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going pretty full on everything survival right now. Everything I have is working with survival, of course. Oh, I kind of slammed a little bit too far to the side. And, ugh. Also, oh boy, I got a second elite coming up right here too, which is just peach keen. And there we go. Oof, weird. Do you think the two firebrands and turrets works f well for five cell mode? I mean, I do think that just in general, there we go. I do think that just in general, the uh, any sort of tactics based run doesn't work as well as I would like it to for, oh. Oh man. Really do have to kind of be careful when it comes to using the hammer here. It really does take a little bit longer to ah oh, great, thanks. It really does take a little bit longer to charge up than you'd think it would. And also to have that animation execute. I do think it would probably be better if it was faster, or at least a little bit. Okay, come on. Ah, screw it, just get out of here, you. I do wonder if stuff like uh, enemies release a cloud of poison on getting hit works well with the uh, with the whistle. Didn't you just easily unlock these on zero boss cell? Yes. And in fact, I did do that for the for the giant's whistle because that was the easiest way to do it. <laughs> well, uh, these are all new items. Well, okay, not the not the throwing knives, but I just happened to get throwing knives, so you know. Where's Spintuin? I don't know. I'm looking for it. If it, if it wants to show up, I will definitely be using it. I have 88 cells right now to blow just spinning and or winning as much as I possibly can. Now, let's just go for that. Get you. And this should do me good for at least a little bit here. Yeah, every one of these weapons you can easily get on zero cell mode, except for the five cell boss specific item. <laughs> And that's the one that was really difficult to get. I mean, I had an entire little video based around probably a good assessment as far as what was going to be the most dangerous enemy there. But anyway, uh, there we go. Broken good or broken bad? Well, if it starts selling meth, then it's definitely broken bad, but ugh, terrible. I deserve to get hit that many times there. And one more. Broken, broken. Oh, like it doesn't work? <laughs> I suppose that would be an issue. Quite the sticky wicket. Yeah, with something like the, the whistle, I could see uh, cooldown reduction suddenly becoming very good here. So I'm definitely going to have to start looking at something like that. Also, the fact that it is a survival-only scaling weapon. I don't think there's a uh, survival-only scaling power. I don't think there's anything like that around here. Aside from that one now. I kind of question how good it's going to be against bosses, but we'll see. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I do think that there might be some issues, what with using the, uh, the fist. <laughs> so, we're just going to go right back to that. Interesting choice. And... Ugh, Shockwave seems to be what you really want to be using the, the hammer for, if it's going to be anything. And I saw you trying to fall on me there. Don't even sure I... Uh... There we go, and there we go. Man, what a what a time to be alive. 
Reroll this once, and there we go. Holy crap, that is so expensive. <laughs> wow. Okay, don't rely on that thing, like buying any of any one of those from shots shops. Ugh. Thank you. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's it's expensive for good reason, but come on, man. Oh, I'm not made of money here. Rather buy a flask charge? Yeah, I mean, flask charge would actually be, like, less than half as much as that. That is extremely expensive. Uh, you keep rolling, I suppose. As Fred Durst would say. I didn't quite get the... Okay, fine. There. I don't have to deal with this malarkey. Now, oh, and of course, it's completely immune to... Nope, that's not even what I wanted to do. Oh, well, it's not like this run is going particularly good anyway right now. I think that I can uh, restart this, maybe try to go... Well, that's kind of what I wanted to do, but a little bit more effectively. And bam, and... Just keep hitting them with the stun. <laughs> One more. There. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? He punches himself? That doesn't even make any sense at all. I thought that he it would have been like uh, using... You know, any one of the things where you get uh, mom's... Uh, foot to come down, where you're able... To, where what happens if you use it in the mom's fight? It attacks you. Which it's like, well, yeah, of course it does. <laughs> oh, Binding of Isaac thing. If you don't know the reference that I was trying to do. Anyway, just Telerik slam here. Come on and slam. And then I will welcome these enemies to the jam. Let's go. Just punch him. Punch it. By the way, the punch it thing is from... Uh, the Prison Break game, since I know nobody knows about that. One of the guys you train with in the prison yard, uh, when he's telling you to punch, like, an Everlast uh, punching bag, says, punch it! It's it's pretty great. Anyway. Ah! Readjust myself here, and punch it. Not quite enough to take him out, but pretty close. Hey, ah, he's doing it. He's doing the thing. Yeah, of course. One and... Get out of my ha Oh. You survived that. <laughs> okay, now you're dead. Fine, now you're dead. <laughs> that is pretty satisfying. Oh, giant has long arm. I mean, he is much like the law in the length of his arms. Which is to say, they are very long. <laughs> uh, let's not face that direction. Okay, man. Don't you normally play on PS4? No, I just use a PS4 controller. That's why I have the... Well, that's why I should have the PS4 thing, but for whatever reason, whenever my... Very nice. Whenever my uh, controller disconnects, as it did right at the start of the stream, it uh, defaults back to Xbox controls, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just that Steam has decided that I'm now using a, an Xbox controller. I'm not, but hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, that's yeah, weird seeing Xbox icons. For a brief time, during the very, very start of the channel, I was using, oh, very nice. Uh, for the brief time during the very start of the channel, I was using DS for Windows because I didn't know that it had native support, but now I don't need to do that. So, cool. Since I know that they do have native support, I suppose. Is the Ground Slam even doing any damage? It definitely is, but uh, I, I don't think it's very... When I was testing it out before, it was like one-shotting enemies, but I was also on... You know, like, zero cell difficulty when I had first unlocked it. So, it's hard to say... Hmm? Punch something here, man. <laughs> Not asking for a whole lot. I'm just asking you to slay all of my enemies for me. Yeah, there. 
that, that, that was a good showcase of the damage. I do think I probably get damage from the from hitting enemies up in the air and then having them come back down too. Oh, just right on the corner, man! Ah, I tell ya, do you remember me? I do not. Ah, so you have a two-in-one controller? According to Steam, yes. <laughs> Now do the Hand of the King run? I feel like the Hand of the King run would... I mean, I, I'm trying to do like a showcase of the early weapons. Like maybe a different stream. I know you're telling me to try that out. But, ah, I want to do, do the new stuff here. I want to see the new hotness before I jump into doing some themed stuff. Okay. All right. I do think that if anything else, it's like this is... Come on. Ah, just trying to punch him here, but not really working as well as I would like it to. And also, you up here are also being a pain. And uh, really do need a little bit more statage on this or synergies happening to really make the tentacles start popping off, don't I? Alright, fine, fine, fine. Just, just, just take me down, then. <laughs> just roll five, five head. Yeah. How can you use a whistle without a mouth? That's a good question. I have no answer. <laughs> tentacles are the new hotness. Now that is true. You suck, I know, right? <laughs> what do you expect from me? This is five cell mode and I'm using anything but an optimal build. It's bound to happen. And... <laughs> Man, maybe I should just like go look around for a different or better weapon here first. Just, and hopefully it'll be the syringe because I would like to get a little bit of usage on that. It's just not really not really uh, happening with the weapons that I've been getting. Ah, ah, <laughs> Man, and the fact that this only attacks one enemy at a time is also not making this very easy. <laughs> casually running 5-cell? I mean, I wouldn't really say that after that I was casually running it. But yeah, 2-cell is the... that is the big... The big bottleneck of a a lot of like a, for a lot of people in the game, I'd like to say, just because it does get much, much more difficult. What does the tentacle even do? I mean, it grappling hooks. It grappling hooks you onto walls. It grappling hooks you onto enemies, and then if you use it again after you hit an enemy, it does a critical. Five cell mode, I tell ya. <laughs> <sighs> you realize you're piercing enemies? I don't think I'm piercing enemies. I think that if I grab onto an enemy, I can get pulled through enemies, but I don't think it's quite the same thing. Yeah, you tell me, Brimley. <laughs> yeah, but that's always how it goes in five cell runs. You, ha you have a couple bad ones, and then you get some decent ones, and then you die to a curse, and then you gotta redo all the runs again. What's the point I'm trying to get at? Oh yeah, Dead Cells is a hard game. <laughs> Even if you got a lot of time in it. I, I, I would say actually, especially if you got a lot of time in it because you're so tempted to do five cell mode all of the time and then just die so, so constantly. Ooh, very nice. Just do this. You and what is are the toughest games you've ever played? I mean, probably the toughest game I've ever played and like beaten. I don't know, Celeste was pretty bad. But I would probably say uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. That game was unforgiving and probably took me like a couple hundred hours of playing it before I was able to actually beat it. And beat it once, <laughs> like a single time, period. Because I didn't go back to the game after that. It had driven me to madness. And I don't know if I went back, if I could ever return. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, I didn't even... Too many uh, effects happening there. I didn't even see that he had thrown down a bomb. Okay. I was kind of hoping the fall damage would have taken him out, but... That'll do it. That'll do it. Now just give me that croissant, and I'm gonna get out of here. Because I don't even want to go up to this area anyway. No comments on getting lost since you're busy. Uh... The fact that I have defended my thesis and become a master of law. Hey, congratulations! Jesus Christ, it's so expensive. <laughs> well, good luck with that. I mean, that's a uh, quite a feat. Ah, couldn't even get the proper usage on. <laughs> now all you got to do is get a doctorate, and you can be in esteemed company of doctors. We have our own um, we have our own uh, clubhouse that we go to on the weekends. It's, uh, it's very, very schwanky. Just start, like, crushing these guys right now. And I am out of cells. Boy, you really do go through a lot of cells when you're using that thing, don't you? <laughs> Oof. That's not how it works? Well, I don't know what sort of doctor it's... Doctorate holding people you've been hanging around, but the sort that I do know how to live life on the weekends. Which is to say, in the most luxury. Now, you might say, don't you not actually have a doctorate? Don't, don't tell them I want to keep going. <laughs> Syringe is your favorite weapon since you're a doctor? I mean, I'd be down. <laughs> it's not like I have a, a favorite weapon otherwise right now. Spin and use more cells. Just use all the cells. It's not like I need these cells for anything. Cool. Oh, and I do actually want to go back and grab the... I've been getting a good amount of usage out of that whistle. I think I'm going to go use it. Oh, is that the spin to win work? Okay, so let's see what it actually says here. Spin the syringe to inflict, damage on, uh, to inflict damages. Okay. Activate to add more damage up to five times and add five seconds. Uh, and then for, and you use cells to do that. You use cells to do that, which is the big important thing. Which is why I only have like 10 cells right now. So it's good, but of course, there is a cost. And I mean, it is something that you need to beat 5 cell mode to get in the first place. <laughs> so you know, hey. I mean, most people don't even bother asking for degrees when, when applying for a job. Just want to see if you know what you're talking about and can do the job. Ah, I mean, most people don't even ask me <laughs> to come back for an interview. At least that's my experience. I wonder when I'll be able to use these weapons on the Nintendo Switch. Probably gonna be a while. This episode, this uh, update is in alpha right now. So it is going to be some time till it gets out to... I mean, unless you are on PC and working for... And working towards... Al and willing to use the alpha is what I was trying to say, but then I got distracted by reading chat. Uh, yeah, the, these are probably going to be locked behind the doors of experimentation for quite some time. I mean, it seems like you really do get a lot of usage if you... Thank you. It seems like you really do get a lot of usage if you have a lot of cells, but you really gotta have those cells. Just a few more. Let's get wrecked here, man. Ooh. Oh, speaking of jobs, I actually got my first job. Oh, man. That is... That's probably the toughest one to get. <laughs> Good luck with that. I mean, is it, is it a decent job, or is it just, you know, a hourly wage type of thing? Both are respectable in their own way. Yeah, cashier job. Yep, that's... Uh, did I... I don't think I've ever actually worked as a cashier before. I've always been like the guy, you know, stacking boxes, um, pulling around carts from like the parking lot, everything like that. It is, ooh, not bad. What else we got going on here? <laughs> I kind of like this too, stanky tentacle. Uh, but hmm, ah, I still know Marty. I mean, he was just in the, the latest Witness episode and also he posted a very lengthy comment about uh, his experiences and what he, you know, like a, a little bit of a 
post-mortem on that game if you want to go check that out in the comments section of the, the final episode. Oh boy. Let's go. Cart guys unite. Hey, it's not like it was a terrible job or anything. I'll, I'll take light speed just because it is new. That's the new hotness. I think it was a terrible job. Uh, I did probably spend a lot, most of the money that I made like on sunscreen, considering it was during the summer. But aside from that, it's like, eh. This would have been nice if, ooh, be a little bit careful there. Just yeah, the temperature ain't the nicest thing. Anybody else want to come here? No. Oh! <laughs> You can't roll. You can't roll to do that. Dang. Got to do have to remember that you are in a pretty vulnerable position when it comes to that. Generally not a big deal, but uh mm, do have to remember that. Hey, Silum. Welcome to kind of a very loose showcase of some of the new weapons right now while before uh, things are kind of solidified in stone. I'd like to say that this is going to, a lot of these weapons are probably gonna be changing up in one way or another, but this is kind of the, the rough, rough draft of what the eventual showcase will look like. Man. Also would be great if I could actually hit some enemies here. There. Ooh, how about four boss cells? I That really doesn't actually make all that much of a difference, but like three boss cells, yeah, I'd probably be able to get somewhere with. Let's try it one more time, and I'll throw, I'll throw it down to like two boss cells. We'll get an easy win here, and... Yeah, that should be something. Yep, that worked exactly like I wanted it to. Good. That did not. I didn't really know what direction to face when uh, when confronted with said enemy. Great. One of the things I've learned is that I probably shouldn't be going for uh, elites, at least for the time being, just because they are really kicking me to the curb whenever I try that. Where am I from? America. Land of the free and etc. There we go. Grab that. Get out of here. So yeah, yeah, we'll give it one more attempt at five boss cells, just kind of see what it looks like to do five boss cells, and then go right into two boss cells, actually get a win here. Oh, goes right through the, um, goes right through the, uh, the shield, that, that move, eh? Very nice, very nice. What about morning drinking? I mean, I got a coffee right here, but I don't really know if that counts in the same way. There. Starting to get used to this. Took a little bit of time. There. That light speed is also good for kind of getting out of some sticky situations. Isn't it now? Okay. Turns out Doc lives in Israel. <laughs> yeah. Literally on the other side of the world. And I was just um, fooling you for reasons that I don't... I have no idea why. Like, I make some, like, okay, okay, test me right now. I can prove I'm from America. Uh, ask, name a, a denomination of bills and I'll tell you who is on it. What president? Which one of our many vaunted presidents is on it? There we go. Ooh, and I don't really like that light speed dash, but it does seem like it does have some issues in that it only scales with, um, thing. The $2 bill? Uh, is the $2 bill Jackson? I mean, I know that's a $20 bill, but, uh, um, oh boy. Uh, the $50? That's, that's Grant. That's Grant. Grant is on the 50, right? <laughs> the $10,000 bill? I'm pretty sure that does exist, but I don't remember. <laughs> Aren't you from Florida? No, no, I'm from the Midwest. Uh, greater Chicago land area. Hamilton? I'm pretty sure Hamilton's not actually on any one of our money bills. What about the million dollar loan? <laughs> Naruto, run out of your way. Motion Twin approves with light speed. <laughs> Two dollars, Jefferson. So anyway, this should uh, all prove that I am in fact an American. You couldn't have asked like who's on the five dollar or something, people? 
or the 20, or even like try to fool me and I'd be like, oh no, no, uh, Ben, Ben Franklin wasn't, it wasn't a president. That doesn't count. See, I got you. No, you have to all ask you obscure ones. Don't even think that I don't see that $69 bill you send me on, on uh, Steam there. And just punch him. That's that sort of good punching that I expect. Who even uses $2 bills? Like, as a kid, I kept $2 bills if I ever saw them because they were such a novelty. <laughs> Anywho. Who's on the 5,000 rubles bill? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ugh. Still far too expensive for me, for my blood. Let me see your passport. I don't have a passport. I don't even know the last time that I've been out of the country. And I think the only time that I've ever been out of the country it was to go to, like, Canada. <laughs> so, take that as you will. What is America's pastime? Eaten. <laughs> At least that's mine. Oh, just get him already. Jeez. <laughs> And uh, everything being shielded right now. Although, thank you. And I also see that there. I saw that uh, secret rune. Don't think you're going to fool me. Probably going to want Telluric Slam back up here. And then we'll do this. There. Much nicer. Ooh, let's go. Tentacles can be double tapped. Let's check it out. I like that. I like the idea. Let's see if it actually works. No, that's this does not work very well. Yeah, okay, here. I'll press the button once. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't quite function in the way that I'd like it to. Okay. Ah. At least you remember the lore of Doc. Oh, yeah, you're not a physical entity? Right, I'm only a voice that exists on the internet. Would an MP3 as part of an MP4 save file... Or, uh, file, like, <laughs> lie to you? God, I'm trying to remember the thing that I said back in purple, but uh, it's been too long. Speaking of which, I should actually finish up that series already. There's only one episode left, and I've been putting it off forever. And... AI spam bot. Yes, I'll give you, um... Uh... I'm trying to even think of what spam bots like these days. Uh, Fortnite flossing porn. Okay, push left tentacle in the right one. Is it faster than... I mean, it's definitely... Oh, I didn't notice that there. It's definitely, um... Probably... It might be faster than using them, like, separately, but at the same time, it's also a lot more cumbersome. <laughs> And it, it, it goes so quickly that I don't think you get the maximum amount of uh, distance that you would with that. Launch it. Uh, can I get him? I cannot. Oh, well. And I totally missed with that, too. Uh, wow, wait, how did I not get hit by that? That was weird. Come on, and one more should do it. There we go. Those guys are, uh... Those guys are very much not nice when it comes to playing the video game. Let's continue. Well, you can just dodge like that? I just, I don't know. I just did it, and it worked. <laughs> like, there's a certain amount of things that happens in Dead Cells where you just have to be like, Okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> And punch him. There we go. Oh, t t sometimes it's not about skill. Sometimes it's just about ah managing to figure out what the game wants you to do. Or doesn't want you to do. Or just letting the game take the wheel and... Oh, Telurk Slam also actually does uh, destroy the, the Ram runes as well. And there we go. I'll just take the one right now, and and I guess we're gonna do this, aren't we? Cool. 
Ah, uh, tentacles don't work too well in situations like this. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is something. Ooh. Like that. Yeah, I mean, if I was cheating, I don't know why I would have done it then and not like right now. <laughs> I feel like there's a, a little bit better priorities that I can possibly have here. Foam Laze does not kill you. It just brings you down to, uh, what is it, 10% health? Which is, it's not great, but... At least you won't die. <laughs> There's, it's better than dying. Which is the most OP weapon in your opinion? Uh, I mean, Giant Killer is pretty good, but only if you're against bosses or elites. I, I guess it's probably still Boy's Axe. I, I was kind of a little bit down on Boy's Axe recently, but I did, uh, but I do have to remember that I was kind of rushing through the game in an attempt to get the, the syringe blueprint. So I can't really say that it, it is. It is entirely the... Yeah, you deserve that. I can't really say that it's entirely the fault of the weapon. Okay, let's go. See, no message saying that I was live? I mean, I also... I, I sent out a, a, a Twitter message, too. Yeah, 10% is kind of like constant curse. Sorta. Can I use both of these at once? Yes. Okay, so I just get a double then. Well, hell... That's an interesting. Why use YOLO over disengagement? Because when you use YOLO, it also uh, removes all of your malaise. Which is very good if you're using a survival based build like I am right now. What was that fist coming from below? That's the giant whistle. Which it's not a, a gigantic whistle, it's a whistle that calls the giant. Do your bidding. Uh, well, what was that monkey hand? It's a skeleton hand. Looks like a big old skeleton, man. Because it is. Does this. Good stuff. It's pretty effective. It's just only a single enemy, although even though it does do stun to everything else is... I don't know if it's worth that sort of enormous... Enormous uh, cooldown, unless you have some sort of cooldown reduction. Actually, let's go into the Ramparts, because I know the Ramparts have new enemies in it right now. There we go. Ugh, did I obliterate the monster through the shield? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that just hit a... I mean, maybe? I didn't see it if it did happen. It's a YOLO in forever. I mean, it's the, the YOLO amulet was a pretty big thing back in the day, just not nearly as much anymore. <laughs> I haven't had a reason to say it until now. Go for the hammer again. I feel like I'm getting a decent amount of usage out of that. that. Uh, can you use Giant Whistle on the Giant? I haven't tried it yet because I haven't been back to the Giant since, well, I got the weapon. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Just go Necromancy. Always a good, uh, always a good combo. Uh, giant Whistle had the chance to summon the middle finger giant hand. I, they could do that. <laughs> it would... <laughs> it would, um... Be in the normal, like, realm of the game. <laughs> Seems like there's another giant in the room. That already brings out his third arm, I guess. I don't know what he's hiding down there. Oh, the door is still up. Somehow the door managed to survive that. Frankly, I don't know myself. Okay. Ugh, didn't quite get the combo that I was looking for there. Hmm. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah, there's the... The little tiny character that's been following me around. That must be the new... The new enemy, whatever it's supposed to be. The one based around the... The concierge. And you speak fluently while playing a game like this and re-chat at the same time. Uh, it's this whole thing where it's like I queue up actions in my brain so that while, say, I'm running away from an enemy and hitting it with the... Hitting it with the whistle, I'm reading chat, basically. <laughs> the talking thing is literally just me taking the filter off of my mind. <laughs> you can really tell that in, like, earlier episodes where I went just completely nonsensical in how often I jumped around topics. I've gotten a little bit better at that, though. 
Oh, hello, regular cat. <laughs> there we go. And I also don't want to figure out what the tiny dude does until I have the time for that. <laughs> What do you think about Dead Cells having multiplayer? I mean, I'm down with it. It's just I've never been one to actually like um, multiplayer all that much myself. I mean, that's just that's just uh, yeah. Let's just you know me, Magic Cat and Regular Cat. I mean, I this is a pretty cat friendly channel. I'm doing Persona right now. I've done Puss in the past, various cat games. Uh, I was actually gonna do a whole cat themed. Oh, there he is. What do you do? Just just show me what you do. Okay, yeah, it, it uh, does exactly what I think it does. Good. They're kind of cute. But much like the librarians, that doesn't mean that I actually want to screw around with them. That tells us multiplayer. People have wanted a... Uh, of course. People have wanted a... Um, there. People have wanted a, a co-op version for a really long time, but it hasn't really come about... Or at least I, I haven't heard them talking about it at all at any point in time. Is this an anime? I mean, if you want to watch an anime, just put up a new episode of Persona. <laughs> what do you like most about the new alpha update? Uh, I guess it would probably... Hmm, I don't know, because there's a lot of good skills that came out here. I just like that they put in the pan. I think everybody had wanted the pan for so long that uh, it's just nice to see it finally in the game, you know? There. Ooh. Yeah, I can't quite get the uh, the slam down as much as much as I'd like to. And of course, as with every survival-based run, you really spend more time just getting malaised up, less time actually like healing or anything like that, until you are finally dead. Here. That was an interesting choice for what the most dangerous enemy was, but sure, sure. I will co-op work in this way. I, I assume it would just be, you know, like a two players, same screen, or like split screen, or um, what would you call it? Uh, it's it's the uh, same same level, and basically as you go, I mean, similarly, like doesn't Spelunky have something similar to this? Man, I am just getting destroyed. Yeah, I do think that with this sort of scattershot approach, I am going to have to go for a... Hmm, can attack you from in here, eh? With this sort of scattershot approach, I am going to have to go with like a two-cell mode. Because it's just really bleh. Uh, what loose ends do you have? I got purple, persona... Well, I wouldn't really call it persona a loose end. That is more of an ongoing infinite series. Uh, one shot. It's purple, one shot, and I need to do goner. I need to do Goner. I said I was going to do Goner for a really long time, and I've just been putting it off forever. Get wrecked. You too. Other than that, like, Grindia has been done now. Celeste is done now. There's a lot of things that I've been clearing out as of late. Obviously, Persona has now become a more consistent type of series, so... That's at least good for me, if nothing else. That doesn't mean that I'm anywhere close to finishing it, but that does mean that I'm at least getting somewhere. And punch him. And get wrecked. Or not. That works too. Celeste is gone, Crab Rave. I know, right? God, that's how I felt as soon as I finished that eighth chapter one. At least until chapter nine comes out. I mean, as much as I kept saying that, it's like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Of course I have to do it. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm enjoying screwing around with uh, these weapons a lot. Because <laughs> there is a lot to screw around with, certainly. I would just... If only I was doing better, though, I think is the the real uh, sticker of this entire thing. And... You like that that goes through shields. That helps a lot. I mean, I think it also goes through shields when you're in the concierge fight, too. But, you know... Yeah, I got to play through on the first ending, but what I want to do is I want to go through one shot proper. <laughs> well, that's not happening. It's just not happening. The, that is so such an expensive item. Throw that up there with something like the giant killer as far as a a um something that will just enrich your run a lot based on the fact that the sell price is so high. Okay. 
really don't remember because it was 4 a.m. It was also not very good. It was during a point in time when I was like, hey, I want to try to do blind series. And I do think that that is a good, a good attempt for a blind series, but I was also, like, not really talking all that much. I mean, I even buffed out some of the places where I, where I wasn't talking all that much in this, thank you, in the series with post-commentary. Have you played The Messenger? I have not. I mean, I do know about The Messenger, and I know they just got the uh, Picnic Panic that came out, but have not played it myself. What you got? Sure, just for the health. Uh, like pretty much any content because I'm a massive suck -up. <laughs> Yes, and your loyalty will be rewarded. How? I don't know. Somehow, though. Uh, waiting for Temporal Distortion to come back with a nerf Loki. I was really thinking that it was going to come back with, uh, with, uh, beating the, the five cell boss. But, nope. We got Syringe. <laughs> so, hey. I guess I can't be too disappointed. It is something, it is new content, and I do like new content. But I also like overpowered weapons. I mean... As, as I'm pretty sure everybody does. But why not just go for this? Tried and believe that was a good basis. I also started streaming after that, not before. No, I did stream before that. Because I want to say that like the month prior, I had streamed the... The first stream that I did on the channel, or well, the first stream that I did in general was doing... The new update where they introduced boss cells, which was... Which was bad. <laughs> a bad stream. <laughs> I'll take it. And yeah, just dump you here and let's go. Miss the Twitch streams, man. I still want to do some stuff with Persona there. Like, kind of make that my um, uh, secret Persona studying thing where I do all the transcripting and whatever while also, you know... My. Uh, well, also... Doing, uh, what was even the word that I was trying to think of? Man, you're just not going down, are you? Doing like a podcast is, is what I was trying to say. Really need to get that leveled up, don't I? Nope, and... Oh, how did that not hit? There. Whoo, boy, that light speed saving, though. I know, right? I gotta say, I'm not disappointed in how this weapon is going so far. It's just... I'm disappointed in how I'm going... Ah, and he did the thing. Oof. Yep. Yeah, Fs are appropriate this, at this point in time. Let's throw her down to two cells, get an actual run going. What's your view on corned beef hash? I mean, that's always a good, uh... Simple thing. Uh, simple food stuff to prepare, but... Hey, it's fine. Make a whole boss build, like weapons you get from the bosses. That's kind of what this entire thing is, I would like to say. That's, that's, that's sort of how this is working. It's just what I'd really like to do is, at this point, get the get the syringe and get that going here. Because ah, cause I do think that that's probably the most interesting weapon that I haven't really seen as much about in the stream so far. Okay. And launch him. You can see as soon as you uh, get the thing there that you do like a big rocket punch into enemies. <laughs> Pretty satisfying once again, but also like how consistent you're going to be able to do that. I don't know. Risk of Rain 2 is amazing. I hear it's pretty good. There we go. I hear it's pretty good, but I mean, like I said before, that it's just... I don't know. I, that doesn't... Don't really feel like I it's it's my cup of tea exactly. Or more specifically, as always, it's kind of that whole thing where I'm like, I don't want to play a lot of roguelikes because they take a long time to learn. And so for like I have to spend like a hundred hours playing the game to put out one episode for it, I'll uh uh enter the gungeon. I shouldn't remember this is two's boss cell mode. I can just kind of roll through everything, can't I? Not guys like you, but... Okay, anyway. Tentacle uh, looks like the meat skewer, but in more badass and gooey. Mmm, the most badass tentacles. <laughs> Alright. And let's get an upgrade tentacle. Sure, why not? 
I, I'm going to miss out on that. Uh, you make me mod, I'll be the best mod ever. Oh, do I want to? Would that be a prudent course of action? I don't know. <laughs> I really got to get some distance here so I can actually get the rocket punch going on. Which, I mean, I suppose that's why I should be... Uh... There we are. That's why I should be going for um, the wall grab with this, which I got to kind of get used to. Have you played any FromSoft games? Have I played any FromSoft games? I played all of them. Well, okay. All of them past Demon Souls. Demon Souls and past. Yeah, fine then. And you do actually have a decent amount of time to do the light speed dash backwards, don't you? <laughs> yeah, trust me, Sekiro. I, yeah, I, I played it. <laughs> He'll ban everyone and then ban himself. I mean, I guess I can kind of appreciate that sort of uh, respect for for the rules when it comes to banning yourself for clearly being incompetent at your job. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to quite see that. Oh, I thought you only dashed backwards. Apparently, you dash forwards, too. You can dash forwards, too. Or I did, but then I didn't. I'll have to do a little bit more testing around with that. A sick anime-tastic build, and I mean, I'll throw out the homunculus rune for even more damage on top of that. Even more anime on top of that. <laughs> Not explaining to my friends what Dead Cells was, I asked, do you know what a Castlevania is? They didn't. Can you believe it? That's kind of surprising. That series has been around, like, literally since the late 80s. Mid-80s? I think Castlevania 2 came out, like, 84? I don't know. Here, let's see. No, that went backwards again. I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite Dark Souls game? One, two, or three? Let's just say one. I'm going to say one. I like all of them, but yeah, there's a new enemy that does the clock, uh, the timekeeper dash. Not surprising. I was thinking it was going to be something that threw, uh, threw Shuriken or something, or, or did like the thing where she gets the Shuriken shield that she then blasts out around her. Nah, not. With the light speed dash, it's like, yeah, sure. I got that to go forward once. I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, one, then two, then three. I don't know. I like three. I'll probably say one, then three, then two. Although I did like two as well. It's just, well, go watch my playthrough of Dark Souls 2 if you want to see exactly what I got to say about that. The short of it is that... The problem that I have with Dark Souls 2 is that Dark Souls is a series that excels when you're only fighting a single enemy, but Dark Souls 2 has it so that you are pretty much constantly fighting like a half a dozen enemies or more at a time, which is terrible. Add on to the fact that you usually have enemies like off screen shooting you with magic or arrows or whatever. It's a very frustrating experience. Also, the bosses have a problem of a little bit more quantity than quality than I would like. Although, I do think that a lot of them are pretty good. I, I feel like that I, I'm a lot more um, forgiving of, like, the the night bosses that people usually take umbrage with in that game. Because I think that those are the best fights, aside from maybe, like, what, Dragon Slayer armor? Everything else was, like, Looking Glass Knight was great. Uh, obviously, like, Veldstadt was great. Still just cannot afford anything. Uh-oh, uh nerd alert. Oh, come on. If you've been on this channel... <laughs> have you not... Is this your first time? Quantity is better than quality is how I describe pretty much every issue with Dark Souls 2. Actually, yeah, that, that's kind of how it comes up, isn't it? <laughs> Does Tentacle have any momentum to it? Uh, where you can latch onto somebody, rocket through them, or through the map? be a bug or otherwise, you can definitely rocket through enemies. That's definitely a thing that you can do. Because, for example, I did like a three-hit three, three hit combo there. But for, um, like rocketing through the map hasn't happened yet. And I know that there have been so many opportunities where that has happened in the past that <laughs> Ocean Twin probably has that on lockdown. At least I would think. Yeah. Let's get rid of light speed. Take you instead. Take you. And then... Yes, and punch it. Oh, and punch it. And this is also good because I get a uh, colorless version of the tentacle. Cool. 
Oh, you can chain multiple tentacle hits and gain mad speeds. Oh, I think that it's got enough cooldown time in between using it. Like, the, the animation that it gives you kind of locks you in place quite a bit. So I want to say that it doesn't work quite that way, so you can just slingshot your way forward over and over. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to see that happen, but I just don't think that's the case. <laughs> ah, survival tentacle. Is, could you ask for anything more? Now the question is, am I going to be able to keep this? That was close. <laughs> Legend of the Overfiend. Oh boy. Oh boy, Legend of the Overfiend. That was one of the OG hentai that people talked about way back in the day. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, wondering because I got Dark Souls and I'm loving it. Uh, Dark Souls is a great game, and I think it's probably the most complete game. I think the sequels kind of suffer from the fact that they're sequels to Dark Souls, you know? And that's, uh, that's, that's kind of a, a, a tough bar to... Yeah, Bible Black is the OG of Hentai. Yeah, I know, I know. But Legend of Overfiend was also around, like, even before Bible Black was. I just think that Bible Black, of course, became a lot more popular. Everybody. Oh, come on now. Bunch of them. Oh, boy. And... Get wrecked. Okay, man. Dark Souls is a completed game. Sequels are just muddy the story. Yeah, I would agree with that. And even though I do like what a lot of like Dark Souls 3 did, uh, even though it was, in a lot of ways, sort of a light version of Bloodborne, I, I still... Like, I still like that game a lot. I think it plays pretty well, and I had a lot of fun playing it. So, yeah. It's a very weird topic to be talking about on YouTube. What, what the most um, popular hentai was at various periods of history? <laughs> Boku no Pico was a meme, and was never not a meme. <laughs> but anyway, uh, wasn't Temporal... What's with... Wasn't that with Temporal Distortion, an item that isn't available? Oh, the, um... Time being convoluted? God, time is convoluted. That is... I still hold that as maybe my least favorite line of Dark Souls, period. I didn't think that was gonna be the one destroyed. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that line. <laughs> and punch him. I'll buy you ice cream and then we can sit in your car. Man, I gotta get a new car soon. <laughs> My car is almost falling apart at this point. Which is tragic, because I've had it for so long. But it's also like... <sighs> Lightspeed still in the game? Oh yeah, I was just using Lightspeed earlier. Just keep going with you. I think survival is the way to go. I have some good... Survival-based weapons. Damn it. Ah! I'm okay. Slowly and but surely getting more and more used to this, these weapons, which is good. Because I really need that. I'm, I'm not going to buy a new car. <laughs> That's... That is far out of my range. It's probably going to be a cheap car. <laughs> That's... That's about it. Vor last time, hentai this time. These streams are getting better by the second. Ah. <sighs> You weren't around for some of the Twitch stuff, man. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, you hate time's convoluted because time's a flat circle? I, you know, you're right. <laughs> that is something that I've said more than a few times. Let's go. Like the Madara's whistle from Bloodborne? Yep, I'm pretty sure that's probably the inspiration entirely. It's gotta be. <laughs> uh... Uh, give Red Hook kudos because time is a flat circle. I mean, time is a flat circle is a, um, Nietzsche quote? Somebody wants to correct me on that, I guess. I'm not really sure. Just tuned in and don't understand anything. These are all weapons from the new update. I, I didn't delete all the streams. They just got deleted automatically after two weeks. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying here? Oh, uh, this is the new alpha update. Yeah, and every boss has a new weapon. I have them all unlocked, and they are all on display and ready to go now. So that's what's happening here. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is making for an interesting run. <laughs> kind of mad I got hit there. Uh, can the giant not punch kamikazes? I mean, it explicitly says in the... 
in the description for the giant whistle that it's the most dangerous enemy around, most dangerous according to the giant. The giant agrees with me that the kamikazes are pretty dangerous. So, I'd like to say that this is... Ah, okay. You really gotta have some of that distance to make this work properly. This goes through shields, so... Should be able to just... Punch him with impunity. And there we go. Cool. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, that is some good stuff, let me tell you. Darkest Dungeon would be a great Let's Play. I think it's just too long. It's kind of how I've always seen that. Punch and punch. It's just too long. I mean, I'm probably going to do Darkest Dungeon 2 because I do really like that game. I did play Darkest Dungeon on stream, just didn't make a series out of it. Yeah, nobody was all that interested in it, to be honest. This is kind of like a stream thing. Maybe people would be now, but I don't know. Since I'm not really doing as much on Twitch anymore. <laughs> you know, just in general. <laughs> Aren't you playing Persona? Persona is a study tool as much as it is a regular playthrough of the game. <laughs> I feel like it has a... There, there, there's, there's a distinction to be made. I saw a rift. Where? Because uh, I didn't. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, uh, you sure it wasn't just the ground rune? I mean, I was, I was down for Darkest Dungeon, but... Oh, there it is. But still... It is also a game that is very um, repetitive in some ways. I think that's probably one of the uh, one of the criticisms that I would le that I've heard people levy at it that I would really agree with. There are a lot of points in time where it's just like uh, th there are stuff that you just do for you know to get like a little bit of extra gold or whatever, and you're just kind of doing the exact same rigmarole going through the cove usually for me. And although there is a lot of stuff to be said about, like, there's still interesting things that can happen on that. I'm, how, I took a while for me to get hit there. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just don't think it makes for good television in a lot of ways. Which is why if I was going to do a series on that, it would probably be, like, highlights. You know, hey, here's a boss. Here's a particularly interesting uh, mission or something like that. You know how that goes. You play Dead Cells. Very repetitive. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but Dead Cells does have a lot of stuff going on at all points in time. Fuck the cove straight up. Oh, I think the cove, as soon as you kind of get into... As soon as you have a good group for it. Because um, something like the... the uh, uh, Plague Doctor... Like... Uh, Hellion is pretty good. Anybody that can pull an enemy forward can really screw up because one, one of the great things about going into the cove is that the areas uh the the enemies are very dependent on their positioning so if you have any anything that can screw up their positioning they become completely useless now wield is the worst yes i would agree with that wield is the worst and only 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 because of the giants the Blighted Giants are so obnoxious to deal with at every single point because they can so easily put any enemy into instant, just ridiculous, uh, uh, death mode. Last life, what? Thank you. And thank you. That, oh, right, I forgot. Well, queue up the, uh... You up the theme to uh, curb your enthusiasm. I deserve it. Anyway, get wrecked. Casual two cell mode. Oh yeah, this is casual two cell mode. I mean, can you see? Are you seeing how how easily these enemies are getting taken out? It is just it's nothing. It's nothing, dude. I did an SVP cosplay. Which one? Because <laughs> that makes all the difference. My favorite set is Hellion, Flagellant, Jester, Grave Robber. I like the Fool's Congregation, which is uh, uh, Leper, Leper Crusader, Jester, and the Vestal. Yeah, because that one is just excellent for taking out anything in the for taking out any enemy in the in the ruins. 
Like, the ruins is ruined, <laughs> if you do that. Uh, Iron Swan all day. Also, another reason why uh, the Hellion's pretty good for going into the... For going into the, the cove. How do you play five boss cell mode? I'm having trouble with even one boss cell. I mean, it's a lot of practice, one. I have... I've been, like, doing five boss cell since they first introduced it. And four boss cells since they first introduced it. And literally over a thousand hours in the game. Oh, I didn't see what the, uh... What the, the SCP you said. Uh, even the story is based on previous games. Uh, Bloodborne from Osiris is a combination of both. Ring City explains everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gameplay, gameplay wise is why I like Dark Souls 3. I do think that it is... It's kind of just a trite retelling of... The story from Dark Souls 1. Ah, oh, mad. For Dark Souls 3. And Dark Souls 2 did have one of my favorite characters in the series. Uh, being the king. But it's like, that's not like enough to save the fact that it is just kind of a baffling bunch of nonsense. And they added a bunch of like weird animal men and stuff into the lore, which I don't understand. Ah, eh, Dark Souls is weird. It's a weird series. It's a weird series and the fans of it are weird. I don't think anybody would argue otherwise. Uh, which king? Vendrick. Vendrick. I loved Vendrick. Vendrick is such a fun character. Because he is a guy that screwed up on every single level. He did everything so wrong. And it's just like, that is... You don't see usually somebody as, like, completely... Who is competent and yet also bumbling at the same time as Vendrick. He is so great. <laughs> and then it's like he just... And then he gets that, like, sort of kind of last-minute punchline as you actually meet him. And, ah, oh, it's... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good story in that story. Because he's a dude that really wanted to just do well, but he screwed up. A lot. <laughs> uh, did a 49 and MTF cosplay. 49. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, well. Just keep going here. Uh, being told all game, the Vendrick knows the answer and can fix everything. Only find him hollowed out. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not even that. All you were told was to find the king. And then it's like you learned that everything the Vendrick did was bad. He, he attacked the giants for no reason. He married, uh, what was her name? Nadalia, Natasha, which was a bad idea. He got kicked around so much by his brother. And, and it's like he clearly wanted to, you know, like help out his brother and everything, eventually putting him like his, in his own prison there. And that still just went completely terrible for him. <laughs> it's like he was a good guy that was just bad at being king, basically. So, yeah, I, I do like that part of Dark Souls 2, but everything else was kind of meh. So, into SCP? I, what the, no, I, I, I've been on the website more than a few times. It's a fun little thing. Also, like, the SCP containment breach was really big for a while, and I like watching. I mean, I remember talking about Dark Deception recently here. I'm a big fan of watching other people play, like, uh, little indie horror games, because I think they're... They're not really something I'm all that interested in, but I do think that they are an interesting... I'm mad I got hit by that. <laughs> I do think that they provide an interesting look into, you know, hey, what else is happening in the video game world outside of my normal sphere of... of knowledge? But yeah. <laughs> Luca Teal's story? I never actually did Luca Teal's story, so I don't really... Not quite sure what her, he, her whole deal was. Uh, why... Why won't you release the stream that you did a couple days ago for the update? <laughs> That's already been deleted. Oh, I guess I do have the VOD. But... <laughs> Come on, do I need to? That went so badly! It went so badly! <laughs> I just kept getting kicked to the curb, man! Do I really have to subject my viewers to that? <laughs> Yes, please. No! Well, it's my decision to be made. Look, I still have it. We can... Uh, I'll release it like a million years from now and we'll all have a good LARP. <laughs> I need more dock streams. Well, you can always go check the unlisted streams. Those are, uh... Definitely extant. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping that I could get the, uh, the back hit there because that would have been funny. 
Oh uh, yeah, when you actually have like a full a full on build going into cell mode with everything upgraded at the forge, you just the power here is incredible. <laughs> Remember the piss stream? Which one? <laughs> D don't get me wrong, piss stream happened more than a couple times. That was, there's, there wasn't only one of them. <laughs> uh, yes, you have to. No! No! Just go look at the unlisted streams if you want. Okay, that, guys, I don't understand how the giant's hand works now. Get over here. Literally damages only one enemy and everyone else gets uh, pushed back. Will you get back in there, you stupid controller? Come on. There. Wow, what was up with that? Uh, I hope you won't delete one shot. Hey, one shot is just unlisted. It's not deleted. <laughs> Big difference. I mean, I generally don't delete stuff. I just unlist it if I don't like it. And at worst, I private it. I don't really delete it. <laughs> like the, uh, the Symmetrical Lance episode. Don't tell anyone. Uh, anyway. Sure. This is a good com combo. Uh, the first piss stream. The good piss stream. Oh, the one where we talked about um, uh, the one guy that could pee vertically like 10 feet. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a really, really stupid stream, too. Oh, come on now. <laughs> well, fine. Actually, one of the great things about the tentacle here is that I can just punch through... The concierge with no problem. Makes it pretty easy to get on the opposite side of him. Provide that I'm not locked into an animation, I suppose. <laughs> well, one of the great things about the Persona uh, series, and well, any series that I do, is that I do, co in fact, commit to finishing them. <laughs> there is no series that will go unfinished on this channel, let me tell you. Ow. So it doesn't really matter how many people actually watch it or not. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I.e. Sekiro. <laughs> Boy, nobody cares about Sekiro. Nobody cares about Persona either, but I mean... I at least understand that. It's a very uh, dialogue-heavy game. Why doesn't the tentacle just give invincibility frames? It probably should. <laughs> but Sekiro is awesome, and I finished it! Don't say that I didn't finish it, but, uh, it also was not a very popular series. <laughs> Using the concierge's arm against the concierge. Oh, yeah, that's why the first thing I did was take out that. I mean, he has to know. <laughs> nope. And nope. Just tweeted my cosplay to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will check that out later. Give me that, and I guess that's about as good as it's going to be. Right, let's go. Our right, doc can't watch Sekiro. Has no replay value, so it's a slow burn for me. I mean, I, there is a lot of editing that goes on in the in that series. <laughs> it, it is uh, it is much like everything I do. Pretty pretty truncated compared to any other playthrough that you're gonna possibly watch. That, but I know that's also not really like yeah, but it's still Sekiro. Like, yep, yeah, it is. I did both. I did uh, the bad ending. I did the bad ending blind, which I didn't really expect or want to do, but it happened anyway. I played Daughters of Ash. No. Uh, actually, Ezergeel has suggested that to me a couple times, and I'm just like, eh. Eh. And... Okay. I used to like the video for support, but I didn't watch. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure, why not? Cheat that system. And... That was the most dangerous enemy here? I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's, that's, that, that's, that's, that explains well how I feel. Have you played Sundered or Hollow Knight? I have definitely played Hollow Knight. Uh, it, the, the Dead Cells and Hollow Knight get so much comparison that I was just like, well, I gotta play this. Even though I had played it like three times prior. Did I tell you I beat Kyobu in the viewing window uh, for when you hover your mouse over an app in the toolbar? Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, 
I he is the first boss in the game, but that seems a little bit excessive. <laughs> Jeez. I mean the game itself is a slow burn, so I can't really watch it. Oh yeah, I mean I and I understand. And I try to make games as like I, you know that I am in love with cutting series. I love doing a lot of editing with that sort of stuff. So I try to make it so that even a slow series is still goes along at a good pace. But I mean, with something like Persona, that's baked into the game to a certain extent. <laughs> Sorry, Persona. But you are slow. <laughs> that said, I still do cut out like all the grinding, all the uh, battles. You know, stuff that's not interesting. Just keep a, all killer, no filler, you know? There we go. Uh, I've never seen you use, using one of the items you're using right now. Is it a mod or something? This is the new update. Every single boss has their own uh, unique weapon that they now give you. Kind of theme to whatever the boss is. And these are uh, respective. Uh, from left to right, it is from the concierge. or uh, <laughs> The conjunctivius, the concierge, the giant, and the... A Hand of the King. So, you know, it's a... Uh, and this entire stream is about kind of checking them out now that I have them all unlocked. It's some cool stuff. Persona is slow, slow is, is uh, so slow off the rip, but that doesn't mean it's not good. I know, but at the same time... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying the game still. It's just... The pacing is not great. <laughs> is basically it. Uh, what about the Time Guardian? She gives you light speed dash. It's a it's a it's a version of her dash ability, where she goes across the arena very quickly, and then Five Cell Spoiler Guy gives you the spin to win move. So, <laughs> look forward to that if you don't know what that is. I would love to be using it right now, but it's also like that thing is hella expensive to buy from shops for stuff, and the thing is hella expensive to buy from shops, and also. It's, uh, like, not showing up. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, hmm. No temporal distortion, unfortunately. I really wanted to see it, but hey. All right. I mean, there wasn't really too much for reactions as far as what you would get there. So, I mean, I, I really only unlocked the pan, and I had already gotten the pan just playing through the game for five seconds before I started started the stream. That's about it. A game called Unepic that I, I like a lot. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. And I'm pretty sure you probably suggested that one to me already. <laughs> hey, you got your suggested game. It was Grindia, and I loved it. But, and also that series, on the other hand, compared to Sekiro, was pretty popular. So, just goes to show you don't really know what's going to do uh, what <laughs> on, on a channel. <laughs> I really thought the Sekiro was going to be a lot more popular than it was since I do a lot of the Dead Cells thing, you know? <laughs> but, uh, nah. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> you had the chance and you didn't take it. High cost is a cheap excuse. While your wordplay is appreciated, I don't remember. <laughs> Japanese study with Monster Girl Quest Paradox. I was actually going to do Japanese study with Sekiro, but I ended up not doing that because I just wanted to play the game regular style. Honestly, probably should have at this point. <laughs> There's enough dialogue and Japanese to be had, and you can just switch the, the translations on the fly. There we go. Uh, I'll just get in here. Why would you even illegally download Dead Cells? It's so cheap. I mean, especially since I got it before it, it even uh, came out in version 1.0. I got this thing for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Uh, elite one punch death. I mean, getting to that point. Of course, this is two boss cell mode. Like, yeah, if I can actually get some of the things. Uh, I don't really understand Japanese all that well. I can just read it. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, Nihongo got Dekinai or whatever about that. Uh, though I think you've ignored it a few times. Probably. <laughs> I mean, there's a good chance that I have ignored it. 
It's a lot of- I died. <laughs> Have you gotten your money's worth? You think? <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. That's enough. <laughs> That is a good show of the various weapons we're going to be seeing here. A hideously terrible uh, bunch of runs, but hey, at least a good show of the weapons. <laughs> Do a run where you switch a language to Japanese? Go uh, watch the original or the, the new version of the Hayabusa boots. <laughs> All right. Next time, show good combinations with old weapons. Well, yeah, that's that's probably... I'm probably going to be doing, like, actual videos with these weapons eventually. This was just kind of, hey, it's uh, Sunday morning. Let's screw around a bit. <laughs> Splice them all together into a completed run? Yeah, so basically what I did with the last update. That's kind of... I mean, that's probably not a terrible idea, but... Yeah. All right, until next time.